Our new color picker is really nice. So here's what it looks like. Select a hue, saturation and brightness, and your opacity. And you've got your swatches here. So one thing I like is that you have immediate access to the eyedropper tool here. You don't need to open the color picker first. You can open the eyedropper, sample a color from around the screen somewhere. But what's really cool is when you open up that eyedropper and you want to add a swatch directly from the eyedropper, you can hold shift. See the little plus icon that appears? So now I can add swatches. If I have a color palette that I want to quickly load into my swatch set, it's just that fast. Now when I open up the color picker, I've got all those swatches loaded in. Another cool thing about our swatches is what we call the magic swatch. If I come in here and copy a color value, in this case a hex value, and then I open the color picker, that value that's in my clipboard as a string shows up as a swatch here. And it's got this little clipboard icon. So I can choose that color. And it works with all kinds of different color formats. So if I copy this RGBA string, then open the color picker, there it is. The last thing I want to mention is our color picker is really fast. And this might not be something you think about with color pickers, but it's really responsive. As you drag these around, there's no lag. When you open up the loop, you can immediately sample a color. So there's no delay or lag. We've built our color picker to be your new favorite. It's a simple color picker with some really nice extras.